Can you please give your full name to the court? Um, Miss Purdy. Thank you. Samantha Purdy. Thank you. So I'm going to ask you some questions first and then my learned friend will ask you some questions afterwards. Please take your time in answering. Speak loudly and clearly so we can all hear you. So what's your occupation? Um, I'm a full-time mum. Okay. Any particular reason why you're not working at the moment? Because um, I've got two young children to look after. Okay. And um, so you mentioned you've got children. How old are they? So one is seven. is um, a few months. Okay, thank you. And do your children live at home with you? Um, they both live with me, yeah. Okay. And do you have full custody of them? Yes. Do you have a close relationship with your children? Um, yeah, very close, yeah. Thank you for sharing that. So I just want to take you now back to the day of Wednesday the 22nd of December 2021, the day of the alleged offences. Do you, did you go anywhere that morning? Um, yeah, I went out shopping. I went into um, Algebra. Anywhere in particular in Algebra? Yeah, I went to the market and then I went to the supermarket. And what was the purpose for going out that morning? You... Um, I wanted to do some Christmas shopping, um, especially for my mum, because she's helped me so much lately. Okay, thank you for sharing that. How did you get there? Um, I walked. You walked. And did you have your children with you? I took um, my youngest son with me. And where was your other son? And um, I left my oldest son with, with my mum because um, I knew it would be busy. Okay. And did you go with anyone else? Um, no, I went on just, just with my son um, in the pram. Um, and yeah, we walked. Well, I walked and pushed the pram now. Okay. Thank you. So um, you mentioned that you carried your youngest in the pram. Okay, and um, did you carry anything else with you? Um, no, I just had the handbag. Okay, thank you. So just take me through when you got to the market. What did you do first when you got there? So when I first got there, it was really busy. Um, mm. Lots of Christmas shoppers. Um, and I pushed the pram around, but it, because it was so busy, it was really awkward. Um, so I had to look around at some of the stuff, but it was really expensive. So I quickly sort of realised that I wasn't going to buy anything there. Okay, and did you meet anyone there? And then, yeah, I arranged to meet my ex-boyfriend. Um, we met up about 11.15. Okay, and where exactly did you meet him in the market? Yeah, in, um, yeah at the beginning of the market, at the entrance. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. So you mentioned he's your ex-boyfriend. Is there any particular reason why you met up with him? Um, well, he's the dad of one of my children. So um, I think it's only right that the children see their dad. Okay. And did you arrive there first or did he arrive there first? No, he'd been there for quite a while actually, um, to my surprise. Because um, usually he's late for them making the arrangements. He's pretty unreliable. Um, but no, he said he'd been there for quite a long time already. Do you know why he was there already? Well, he told me he was people watching. And what do you understand people watching to mean? So, people watching is his term for seeing if he can steal from them. Okay, thank you for sharing that. And does he have a history of stealing? Um, yeah, he does. Okay. Right, so when you met Marcus at the market, where did you go afterwards? Um, we went and had a coffee in, in Costa's. Okay, and did you have anything else? Um, no, he had a coffee and I had a hot chocolate. And who paid for these coffees? Um, the hot chocolate? Marcus paid for them. And what did he use to pay for it? Car and cash? He paid um, using a credit card. Okay, thank you for sharing that. So when you got this coffee and hot chocolate, did you take it away? Did you stay in the coffee shop? Yeah, we had um, coffee in the coffee shop, and then um, we weren't there that long, and then I went off to the toilet before we left. 
Okay, so when you went to the toilet, did you leave your little one with? So I left Charlie with um, with Marcus because the pram was so big, so it was just not um, possible to, to take it to the loo really. Um, it's quite a small little rocky shop. Um, yeah, so I left him with the baby for a few minutes. Okay, and did you leave your bag there? Or did yeah, you take it? unfortunately, I left my bag as well. Okay, so. Finish. Okay. And did you have any other belongings or anything that you left? No, just my handbag and the pram and Charlie. Okay, thank you for sharing that. I just want to ask, do you trust your ex boyfriend? Um, well, I mean, I trust him with the baby, but that's about as far as it goes, really. Okay, and so take me through when you left the coffee shop. What time did you leave? So I think it was around half eleven. We left the coffee shop and decided to go to um, Warnsbury Supermarket. Okay, is this still in Altrim? Uh, this is still in Altrim. Yeah, it's only about a five minute walk from there. Okay, so what was your reason for going to that supermarket? So I, well, I still haven't got anything for my mum, so I wanted to see if I could get her something in, in the supermarket. Um, and then when we got there, yeah, it was really still really heavy. Okay, thank you. And did you go there with your ex-boyfriend, Marcus? Yeah, he came. He was just sort of following me around, really, being really annoying. Okay, so you've um, so you went there with Marcus. Did you stay together in the supermarket, or did you separate at all? Um, he pretty much followed me around most of the time, but every now and again he sort of um, disappeared for a bit and then kept coming back. So he was a bit of a shock. Okay, was it busy in there? It was really busy, yeah. It was really hard getting the pram round. So who was pushing the pram? So, um, me, I was pushing, pushing the pram and I had a bar to keep. Okay. And were you able to navigate? You said it was a, a little bit hard, but you no, know, were you able to navigate around the store quite easily? I mean, I got around. Okay. Um, but it wasn't easy, no. There were so many people there. And the pram was so um, cumbersome. And how did that make you feel? Um, well, a bit frustrated, really. Um, okay, I was getting a bit stressed. Could you describe to me what Marcus's behaviour was like in, at this point as yeah, well? He was all twitchy and nervous and sort of animated. Um, yeah, just being real weird. Okay, so could you describe what you mean by weird? Well, he just seemed to be looking around quite a bit and he just didn't look very relaxed and, yeah, he just looked really suspicious. Okay, so you mentioned that you were looking for a present for your mum. Did you look for anything in particular? Yeah, I was looking for to get some nice perfume. Okay, and did you find that so perfume? I found some perfume, yeah, that I could afford. So okay. I put it in my basket. And did you buy anything else whilst you were in the store? No, I didn't. I had a look. I was going to get some um, some Avocar made for a special treat on Christmas Day, but um, it was all a bit too expensive. These were the cheaper ones. And then there wasn't much choice, really. And do you buy alcohol generally? Or Not very often, no. Just on special occasions? Yeah. Okay, so uh, when you went to look at the alcohol, was this at eye level or did you have to... Well, I knew I wouldn't be able to afford the like, more expensive ones, so I kind of knew I was going to be going down the bottom shelf, so yeah, I had to sort of bend down and um, have a look at the shelves at the bottom, see if I could um, find anything a bit cheaper. Okay, so just to confirm, the cheap alcohol was on the bottom shelf? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And you didn't actually end up buying any of those? No, I decided against it in the end, it wasn't worth how much it was worth the price. Okay, so what did you do next? Um, and then after that, um, I decided there wasn't really much else um, I wanted to get, so I went to the checkout. Okay, and was it Marcus? And then, yeah, no, was he, Marcus he, gone, he, he, just, he just went and that was it. He didn't get say anything, he just got Sorry, could you just repeat that and just it, No, he left. He left for um just before I was gonna go over to the checkout. He just did, did a disappearing on me. He just left without yeah. 
Is no, there anything? Not, not worth, no. Right, okay. And um, when you went to the till, so you, you were just paying for the perky? Yeah, I wanted to pay for what I was going to buy. Okay, it was just and a perky. did you use cash card to pay for this? So I used cash that I'd got out earlier from the ATM. Okay, and do you carry, did you carry this cash? Oh, you mentioned it was from the ATM. Did you get it from the ATM that day or? Yeah, I got it up earlier in that morning, yeah. Okay, thank you. And whilst you were at the till, did you speak to anyone? Um, yeah, I spoke to the cashier and then she started asking me about the kids and, you know, so obviously I was telling them about them, my family. And okay. I had an old one and, um, yeah, I was really looking forward to Christmas. Okay, and did you speak to anyone else? So was this as you were leaving the till? So yeah, just as I finished paying for um, the store manager woman came over and um, accused me of stealing. Okay, and um, how did this make you feel that she just And then I was just stealing? really devastated. I just couldn't believe that I was, had all this past being flagged up again and um, that I'd be accused and I'd, you know, changed my ways for quite a while now since I've got my family and I just couldn't believe that I wasn't going to be able to have a normal Christmas. And did you know why she used you of stealing? Um, I don't know, I think she just, I don't know if she recognised Marcus or um, whether someone else had said to her um, about my past. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. And did anyone else come over? And then the security guard came over as well and then he um, asked to um, search the pram. And how did this so, make you feel? Yeah, I just felt awful just being accused of all this stuff again. And um, although at this point I think I thought Marcus was ringing bells in my head. Um, and then the security man um, discovered the items in the Okay. And I realised Marcus was up to his old tricks. So what did they find in the pram? Um, I think it was some meat and some razors um, and some alcohol, some uh, vodka. Okay, so these, so these things that they found in the pram, are these things that you generally buy? Razors and, and gin? No, all stuff that Marcus put there. No use for Gillette razors, and um, I don't really drink anymore either. Okay, so just to confirm, you had no knowledge of these items actually being. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't put them there. Okay, can I just ask? Do you normally pay for your items when you go shopping? Yeah, that's why I paid for the perfume. Obviously, I wouldn't. You know, if I wasn't going to go buy anything, I wouldn't have gone in there. If I wasn't going to pay for it, I wouldn't pay for the perfume. Okay, yep, thank you for sharing that. Just want to ask you some questions when the police arrived. So, where was Charlie at this point when they arrived? So, he was in the pram, and okay. then um, when they said they wanted to take me down the station, um, I called my mum and she came sort of more or less straight away um, so that she could take care of Charlie. Okay, and did they search you at all? Um, when I got to the station, yeah, I was searched. What did they find? And they found a credit card which was in the pocket, the inside zip of my handbag, and I had no idea it was there. Okay, and who does this credit card belong to? It belonged to somebody, Alan, that I've never heard of, hadn't got a clue, and I had no idea. So, do you know how this card got into your bag? Well, I'm pretty sure Marcus must have put it there um, when I went to the loo in the Costa. Okay, so have you used this card at all? No, I haven't, no, never. So just to confirm, you had no knowledge of this credit card being in no, your bag no, at all? I was absolutely shocked. Okay. I was so upset. Okay, thank you for sharing that. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions just about your past. Can you share what previous convictions you have? I have got previous convictions for theft. 
so okay. amongst others, but that was when I was using, and I've left all that behind now. So how long ago were they? Um, over three years ago now, so I've got my family now, so things have changed. What's changed? What well, you my say priorities, my children, that, and I want them to have a good life and a good future, and they give me a reason to get up in the morning. Okay, thank you for sharing that. And Looking back now at your previous convictions, how do you feel about them? I feel it's something that I want to leave behind and I feel that I sh it shouldn't be dragged up all the time. Um, I should be able to leave that behind and have a fresh start, especially for my kids. Okay, thank you for sharing that. No further questions.